Five here is asking us which of the following is the aqueous net ionic equation for the reaction of Na stream with HCl. Okay, so I have I want the net ionic equation. Sorry, net ionic equation, and I want it's NH3 with HCl, right? So let me write NH3 here. So I have NH3. This is an aqueous solution plus HCl, also an aqueous solution. And what am I going to get after I add this? Add this. So again, this here is a this ammonia. I know is a weak base. And you can search up the pKb. Kb, I believe that's one point eight times ten to the negative five. I uh, you might have, don't quote me on that one, but I believe it's something like that. And then this here is a strong acid. HCl is a strong acid. So this here is obviously it's going to be an equilibrium, right? Weak base, strong acid titration. It's going to be in an equilibrium position, uh, uh, equilibrium kind of reaction here. And then I'm going to get um, kind of this reaction here. It's going to be in the in equilibrium. And I'm going to get, again, this uh, HCl is going to be a uh, hydrogen donor, right? So I'm going to get this here would be NH4 plus plus Cl minus. And this here is going to be my ammonium and my Cl minus um, kind of, uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, in, these are my products in this case here. And then it's also saying, but I want, again, in this case, I want the, again, net ionic equation, right? So I'm, I can also look, look, at, um, look at these guys here, and I can, I can also dissociate them, right? So these guys can also react with water, right? So let me write, write down those guys here as well. So NH3, AQ, can, I can react that with water. And a water, in this case, will behave as an acid. So I get NH4 plus plus OH minus. And the HCl obviously can react with water. And this is actually just a fully dissociation because it's a strong acid. So give me H3O plus plus Cl minus here. So again, these these guys also are um, are also in play when we're talking about uh, this kind of uh, reaction here. Um, but again, it's asking us which of the following is the aqueous net ionic equation, right? So I'm looking at which one will give us our equation um, here as well. So uh, what we have to do is, we're, again, we're basically going to break these guys down into its um, into its uh, kind of a, a cation form, and then we'll be able to figure out um, figure out our net ionic equation here. So let me look at the solution here, and, and let me see if they're following my, my thing here. So again, uh, net ionic equation um, H cell. NH3 is just the following, so the reaction is only arrow to the right here. So it says NH3 plus H plus Cl would give me NH4 plus Cl minus. So again, this here would be, uh, this, so this solution here, this top one is 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 good, right? Because again, I have NH4 plus and Cl minus here, and these guys here are aqueous solutions, right? So in this case here, what we have here is, um, what we have here, we can actually replace this HCl with our H3O plus, right? So again, H plus can be replaced, right? So let me write that down for you. So let me erase these guys here. Ivan says, hi. I'll say hi back, hello. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, so I've, and again, H3 and HCl, and I have ammonium and uh, my uh, chlorine, chloride ion here. So in this case, um, uh, this here is asking us, uh, Oh, it's asking us, uh, this is number one, right? So here we have, you can actually rewrite this as, um, what they did was they actually dissociated this because this dissociates fully, right? So AQ plus H plus AQ plus CL minus AQ, and this reacts to form NH4 plus. I'm um, sorry, NH4 plus plus CL minus, and I can, I can add also water here as well. And what I can do here now is I can actually replace this H plus with H3O plus, right? Because I know that this here is, uh, they're synonymous. So I can say this here is H3O plus. And right now what we can do is we can cross out some common ions, right? So again, I can see, I see Cl minus is here and Cl minus is here. So these guys are, um, don't really, they don't contribute to our net ion equation. So therefore I can rewrite my net ion equation as NH3AQ plus H3O plus is going to react to form. This is NH4, so ammonium plus our water here. 
And this here is our, or I guess this is in liquid form, sorry. And this here is our net ion equation for one here. Because you know, I, I can simply just cross out this chlorine ion or chloride, uh, or chlor or, or chloride ion here. And, um, and this here will be our uh, net ion equation for one A. And then part B is asking us the reaction that occurs when NH4Br dissolves in water. So let me write that, write that down for you. So I have NH4, NH4Br, when it dissolves in water, right? So this is actually going to dissolve firstly to, I have NH4 plus or ammonium plus our Br minus here. So these two guys actually, uh, actually, um, I uh, dissolve first, and then NH4 here is going to then react with water, right? Because NH4 plus would react with water, and this will be in equilibrium, and I would get back, again, NH3, right? I would get back NH3 plus, and then my hydroxide ion in this case here. So in this case, our solution, this D solution here is correct, right? Because um, this here is our correct solution. And again, Br minus here is our common ion, our suspector adaptator ion. It doesn't really do much here. So I can assume, I can, um, the Br minus is actually, it's not going to um, do anything here. Because if I write the net ion equation for this guy here, I can say that this NH4 is going to dissociate, right? NH4, uh, Br minus here would dissociate to form NH4 plus and Br minus. And this Br minus would actually, it would cancel out for on both sides here. So this equation here is correct. So which means D here is the correct answer. And I believe that they got the same question as well. The ammonia ion plus the water would give me ammonia and acid here. So this solution here is correct. And again, Br minus here is a spectator ion and is neglected. So they wrote that as well. So the solution here is correct. Good analysis as well. Thank you.